Good morning, Patriots. Today is Wednesday, December 11th, and this is your Patriot Press News. I'm Juan Ramos, and here are your announcements for the day. This week before finals, your ASB is holding its last Spirit Week for 2019. To see what to wear, check this out. If you had purchased a lanyard from ASB, or at least think you did, make your way over to the tables in the quad during lunch this week to pick them up. Seniors who still owe money on the Ultimate Senior Package must make final payment by Thursday, December 19th, or else the second semester items will be canceled and, you, and you'll have to purchase at a higher rate during second semester. These items include Morp, Prom, Disneyland Grad Night, Six Flags Grad Night, and the Senior Dinner at Medieval Times. You can make payments anytime before school lunches and after school until 3.30. 300 seniors have submitted their FAFSA slash CATA applications. There is still time to get two extra graduation tickets, submit your FAFSA slash CATA application by December 31st, and you will receive two extra graduation tickets. And now onto some club news. ASLers, bring a friend to Washington 112 on Wednesday, December 11th. During lunch for assigning social, decorating handy holiday cookies. What's good, good Heritage? Heritage? We are your BSU Executive Council members. This Wednesday we're having our BSU meeting, first lunch W203, second lunch L222. Also, if you're interested in being showcased, next week we'll be having our Wednesday meeting on the 18th at lunch in W203. Have a good week, Patriots. Hey there, Patriots. Drama is hosting our annual all-male senior pageant, Mr. Heritage, this year. If you have any questions or would like to fill out an application, come to the quad during lunch today through Friday. All applications are due December 19th, so make sure to fill one out. Hey Patriots, it's your Society for the Promotion of Empowered Women present here, Aramis. And your Vice President, Naraya. Our host for the club is to promote the education of intersectional feminism both on and off campus. It's come to our attention that female and LGBTQ students have been harassed, groped, or verbally assaulted, and we want to create an environment that's both, both peaceful and equal for all. Mm -hmm. We will be meeting in room W103 from 3.30 to 4.30 every Thursday after school. Some ideas we have are a women's clothing drive, an LGBTQ support group, and breast cancer awareness donations, and more. But this can only be possible if you join us. So come, in, come out and join the SPEW Club. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Antonio. I'm Tyla. And I'm Austin. This Christmas season, Robotics has a special ornament for yourself or a loved one. HGS Robotics is selling custom laser engraved wooden Christmas tree ornaments for just $3. That's right. They're customizable, so you can engrave the name of a loved one or a short message on the ornament, like these four here. We'll be set up in front of the birdcage all this week and next week. So stop by during first or second lunch to put in your order ASAP. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. No one out here has heard of this school, but it's okay. My name is Miss Dove, and I went to Stevenson University in Stevenson, Maryland. My transition from high school to college was pretty easy. Um, the biggest change was um, going from like a seven class a day schedule to like having big breaks in between and being able to make my own schedule. Um, and, and going outside in between classes because we were in one little building in high school and we couldn't leave. Um, so that was kind of the biggest change, but otherwise it was a pretty smooth transition for me. My major was English, Literature, and my minor was Theater. I founded and was president of the English Club at our school. Um, so we did like poetry readings and we did like a Halloween party every year where people dressed up like characters. And then I was also an editor for the school's literary magazine where we published student uh, writing. I loved college. It's like the one time in my life that I would like go back to in a heartbeat if I could time travel. I had a really great time. I loved all my classes. 
I just spent my time reading and writing and reading and writing, which is what I love to do. So it was really, really fun for me. My relationships with the English department is what made my college experience great. I was really close with all of my professors um, and really close with all the students because we started the program together and went through it. And my department was really small. There were 20 kids in my year for English. So we were all like super, super close knit. Fill out your FAFSA because it's really, really helpful. Um, ask your teachers for recommendations early because um, I struggled. To, I asked for them really late. And so just getting all of that like paperwork done. And then going into your freshman year, try to get like your prereqs and gen eds out of the way so you can like dig into your major and take the classes that are fun that you're interested in. That's our announcement for today, Patriots. Have a great day and we'll see you back tomorrow.